Okay, James, walk me through your stuff. Marty, pleasure to meet you again. That was pretty fun on Nigel Pass, especially the frog legs. And I just uh, bought myself a couple of new things this year, Marty. One was the Ursac. Really, uh, really happy about that. The lightweight Kevlar. Wait, food. was that promoted by Marty? I'm not sure. On the Marty Up North channel? I'm not sure. But there is something I did buy from uh, one of his recommendations. I'm excited about. Got my food. Got my Nalgene. Got my jet boil with my fuel inside. Oh, in my pack. Air sack. Tie a double overhanded knot twice on that. Keep all the critters up. And uh, my rope to uh, create a 
a uh, food protection barrier. I hope you cut that out. Uh, next, we have my clothes, which double acts as my pillow. In the back of my pack, I always keep my rain gear for a quick accessibility, no matter what. And my, my uh, pack condom, I call it, to the back of my pack. Uh, that's a dog. You heard that? It's <laughs> a dog attacking my cat. <clears throat> we got my uh, bag. I generally, it's a cool one. It's rated for like minus 20, but I always carry it because I like to sleep in the buff. <clears throat> my sleeping pad, which is a uh, great R value. <clears throat> I only have one because I'm that poor and I do three seasons with one pad. And my uh, favorite boots ever, the Solomon GTX4. Uh, just like gloves on my hands. And my bear taco. Uh, yeah, I didn't bring my pegs out into my yard, but uh, it's, uh, it's a great go for what I need. And that's about all I carry. Oh, my food. Oh, yeah, I had my food in my food bag. What else do I carry? Oh, my first aid kit, but there's a good excuse for this. My daughter has my first aid kit right now, <coughs> hiking on Coliseum Mountain, and she also has my bear spray, because I didn't want to go without. So those are two things I still have that I don't have with me today. Nice. Yeah, on the top of my pack, Marty, I, I usually keep my toilet paper. Uh, I keep my, my Night light, I've got an extra battery pack depending on how far I'm traveling for GPS. I've got my water filtration system here, uh, which is nice and lightweight. And then, the Marty recommendation that I've already used once this year. I'm super excited about it. It came off the uh, video with the five, uh, five gear items that you'd love. Here it is. It's my pocket boy. And it is fantastic. I had it out on the white rabbit couple weekends ago look at this baby Japanese blade no regrets thank you Marty okay hi Marty I'm Carlin depending on where I edit the video I don't know if I've said who I am yet anyway okay let me show you my stuff so uh, the the story on my on my loadout is I bought it all last year so I am brand new. I started this last year. Uh, in my talk, I'll say, I probably will say like where I've been last year with James, the mentor, the guru for me here. Uh, so I'll take you through the stuff uh, and why I got it. So I got a, an Osprey Ether 70. Uh, I bought it cause that's what James has, <laughs> uh, but I got a different color out of respect. Okay, so uh, and then I got rain gear. I think uh, got some good rain gear, it's pretty decent. Got the Heli Hansen, you know, the, uh, the club brand, and these North Face pants just fit. You know, I was savvy enough not to buy like a suit that goes together, because you know your legs fit differently than your shoulders. I don't have to explain this to you, Marty. It went black. Are we going now? <laughs> yeah, it's going again. It's going okay. again. Yeah. So when the screen goes black, <laughs> just just tap on the screen. Oh, okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, not the button yeah. again. That's okay. Thanks. Well. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, what else did I buy? Okay, I got the MSR Hubba Bubba Two Person because uh, I'm really hoping to do as I'm really hoping to do as as little soloing as possible. Even though that's your forte, Marty. Uh, I did solo last year on my first year just to make sure I knew how to just be alone in the dark. But uh, I prefer going with friends, which is why we want to go with you. Um, okay, got a pretty decent sleeping bag for my first year. Um, it's a marmot sawtooth. Uh, what does that go to? I don't know. Probably about minus one. No, it's uh, minus minus twenty seven extreme, minus thirteen. But um, quite frankly, could use a liner. I like to wear. Uh, this is my clothes bag. I don't have much in it other than like sleep clothes. I got my pants and some wool socks, some uh, some sleep long johns. That's the food bag. It's kind of empty right now because I haven't been overnight yet. 
here this year, but I'm going. It's got my. But you put that in my Ursac. Got the jet boil. Uh, I could put it in your Ursac because James bought an enormous Ursac. But I, I just hung this. I got my rope inside, and this is my bear bag. I hung that, I hung that up on its own. Uh, these, these are hiking boots. And uh, these are hiking poles. I don't know what else you need to know. I talked about the MSR. Yeah, great tent. Oh, my camera. So yeah, if I come along on this trip, I'm bringing my camera. So right here we have the Fuji X-T3. I'm a Fuji guy. And uh, this adds a few pounds, but it's so I can come away with the memories. And if uh, you select me and James, I will be bringing the camera and I'll be taking extra film as well. And we'll have you on the YouTube. Um, on my YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. I have six subscribers. I will send them all your way, Marty. <laughs> totally give you that boost. But I bring a Fuji X-T3. I'll probably bring two lenses, the little bit longer lens, the 55 to 200, and my 10 to 24, which I've got packed away on the top. Where the toilet paper is, there's the wide angle, uh, the wipes, the toilet paper, uh, uh, what else we got up there? Your batteries, bear. extra batteries are up here. Um, my bear spray also uh, is not with the load up in the backyard today because we're, you know, right in Red Deer. So we're not too worried about the bears today, but I don't really know what else to add. But that's my loadout. I'm ready to go, even though it's my first season. Second season. Totally second season. Yeah, no longer beginner. Yeah. Uh, Marty, uh, yeah, my uh, privacy screen above me is cut out like the mountains because the mountains uh, actually saved me. I went through a tough time in life and it was uh, being out in the mountains that was what rescued me. I love being in the mountains. I uh, did a lot of solo stuff um, and uh, got tired of doing solo stuff for some reason and really wanted to be with friends and share the experience. And I was really grateful for my buddy, Carlin, um, who uh, joined me last year, or maybe I joined him. He's a planner, and uh, it's great to be able to combine gifts and skills and be a part of, uh, be a, part of a team out in exploring and enjoying things. Uh, he's a landscape photographer, a budding landscape photographer, and I just kind of hang moons when he's not looking, when his camera's rolling. But hey, we want to come with you, buddy. I uh, really enjoyed being with you at Nigel Pass last year. Marty, you'll have a great time with us. <laughs> and we'll have a great time with you. Uh, really, really enjoyed helping and uh, being a part of Carlin's beginner experience, as he called it. But he's a champ. Uh, great at hiking. He's a no-bitch policy. Um, and just enjoys being out in the, in the outdoors. It brings life as well. So if you pick one of us, you got to pick both of us. So that's just the way it goes. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. Okay, well, two things happened at the same time, I guess. Ultimately, James invited me and he taught me everything. But uh, <laughs> a year, essentially a year ago, January, I came out of Christmas. I went for like one hike in Kelowna, BC, where my mom and dad live. And I came back to Alberta and I was like, uh, two things. One, I was, I was like, I am a landscape photographer. It doesn't matter. Every time I'm outside, I go for a walk outside, I go for a hike. My, my phone is out most of the hike. I'm taking pictures. And so I just decided I'm, I'm going I'm gonna to go back to like my roots and buy a camera and go outside. And then very shortly after that, I decided like, oh, like I absolutely am going to, I made a, a promise to myself to back go to go on one backpacking trip every year for my whole life uh like literally 20 years ago i went with three friends and we went to uh, what is it berg lake mount robson amazing trip bought new boots was going to go every year never went again and so uh i just decided i'm i'm never not backpacking again i'm going full and so all the loadout it's all bought last year because i i just decided there's no holding back we're going anyway James invited me, taught me the things. Um, 
I asked him when I saw your contest entry if he'd enter with me because I knew if I entered with James, I'd have a chance. <laughs> also, uh, maybe to barter, like, uh, or, uh, yeah, is it barter or bribe? Mm -hmm. barter, uh, barter. Bribes, which one's illegal? Bribe. Oh, yeah, so we're bartering uh, photography and filmmaking. Like, my photography's coming along. I would love to take shots of you and the group. Your group is growing. And... Um, would love to add skills just like you have sort of year after year. I don't know what else to say. And there's no reaction from Carlin at all. It's kind of wild. And um, we want to come with you. That was the wrong line to say. That was so bad. I hope that's not on your channel. I hope we come at the same time. <laughs>